the Lord says, the prophets are sent out, true and false, trumpet call of God. The high-minded abased, the lowly uplifted, the great and terrible day of the Lord is near, and who shall stand? September 29, 2007 From the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. I am the Lord your God, who brought his people out of Egypt. I am the Lord God of heaven and earth. I am the God and there is no other besides me. Behold, I came down to you in the flesh, and many beheld my face in the Redeemer. And now I am come again, even to the outpouring of my Spirit on all flesh. Yet you of this earth will not receive of me. Therefore I am sending out many in my own name, in the spirit and power of Elijah, and they shall prepare the way of the coming of the Lord, holy and true. Yet you shall spit at them, and they shall be hated by all nations. Behold, a great hissing shall arise among my own people, and many mocking voices shall come forth from among those who call of themselves Christian and Jew. Even from among the devout of Israel shall many step forward to stone them in word and by deed, for they do always walk in the way of their forefathers. Yet undaunted shall my witnesses in turn speak louder, even with a greater voice in concert with the power of the Lord in their nostrils, shall they declare the word of the Lord, a whirlwind of words and proclamations, miraculous signs and wonders, all in the name of Yahushua, the Mashiach, to the astonishment of the people. They shall blow the trumpet, and call upon the name of the Lord in judgment and sanctification alike, able to uplift or destroy with a word, yet they shall in no wise raise a hand against another in violence, for theirs is the war of words, and strong shall the word of their mouth be, the voice of the Almighty uttered through men. For as it was in the days of Noah, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. As it was in Egypt, so shall it be in the day of preparation, the time of war, the casting of judgment, plus one hundredfold, as it was in all days past, when I sent out my prophets, showing mighty signs and wonders, so shall it be from this time forward until the coming of the Lord. Beware, I say to you, for the time has come also when the evil one shall attempt the same. Yet believe not these prophets, and listen not to their subtle and dark speeches, nor believe your eyes, though you behold their false signs and wonders. Trickery, dark sentences, the power of the pit, deceptions clothed in falsehoods, with the appearance of of light and good. Therefore have understanding and seek wisdom. Know who I have sent and am sending, the prophets, my witnesses, 144,000, who cease not from glorifying my name day and night. Gifts and wonders without price, 
all in the name of the one true God, and him called Christ and Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, the Risen One. Unless, my people, his name be called out in truth, by no means shall one tittle come to pass, or be accounted as true. Turn your backs and run from all who proclaim not the Son of God, Most High. Run, I say, do not look back, be wary and vigilant. And to all those who dwell in the churches of men I say, Pray, and open not your mouth, pray, and be quiet, and open not your mouth, pray and give heed, for the mouth of the living God has spoken. Discern the spirit of those I am sending, and listen to those I have sent already. Speak not one word in your heart nor in your mind against them, not in open or in secret. Speak not one word against them, for you speak against me. I have sent them. Behold, they carry nothing of their own, they have taken nothing with them, for I have put my word in their mouth. My trumpet has been placed in their hands, and by the power of my own spirit shall I establish them. And it is I, even I, who overshadows them. For these are they, who follow the Lamb to and fro in all the earth, and shall go wheresoever he leads them, the first fruits to God and to the Lamb. For they shall take of mine, and through the power of my Spirit show it to you. For that which is mine is my Son's also, and that which is his shall be given to those who walk in union with him, that I may be glorified in him and he in them. Therefore thus says the Lord to the churches of men and to all who lead them, You shall stay silent and open not your mouth, and you shall give heed to my every decree, and now strive to obey all my commandments as you seek the salvation of God as he truly is and not as you would have him be, and you may yet behold his glory and be lifted up. Yet forbear and speak, and I myself shall come against you, on a day you do not know, and at an hour you did not expect, striking you dumb, leaving you unable to speak for a whole season. Behold, I shall abase you in the sight of many witnesses, even among those of whom you have called your own. Therefore, let all men and women in these churches built up and named of men, listen and hear. And now give heed to the words of the Lord Most High. Thus says the Lord, Men of vanities and vain deceits, come down from your thrones of pride, and cast from yourselves these cloaks of arrogance you wear, for they are your undoing, even a strangling of your faith, which is already mortally ill. And take your filthy hands off my throne, and remove your feet from my footstool, Cease from your judgments and repent of all these heresies. Stop feeding my flocks in your own name. Church leaders, repent and humble yourselves at my feet. Stop grasping at my robes, for my face is turned from you. Yet you shall serve, oh yes, you shall be my servants. For as you have appointed yourselves in my name, so shall you serve in my name. For I tell you, all your works shall be tried in the day of the Lord's anger, and shall burn. 
and you shall all suffer great loss. Yet I will deliver you, and you shall escape, but as one escaping through the fire. In your abasement shall you then stand up, and I shall uphold you, and you shall take my hand, and receive knowledge of my goings out and comings in. And you shall run gallantly, doing great exploits, shining bright, even as the stars in heaven. And when your service comes to its end, you shall suffer a short season, testifying until the end of the greatest of all loves. You shall die, yet you shall not sleep at all, for I have built a great city in the midst of great persecutions and sorrows, a city where only rejoicing is heard, bringing many to the gates, a great city, a city called martyrdom. For I shall lift you up even to my bosom, and there shall all your sufferings pass away, all bruises healed and remembered no more. Behold, you shall come into glory, being met with much singing, and lo, you shall return with the King in all his glory. Those who were full shall be left empty, so they may be truly filled up, and those who were thought of as first shall be last. Yet those who were forsaken as last shall be first partakers of the glory. And those without knowledge shall be given great knowledge, for love has saved them. Yet those who had attained great knowledge shall be brought down to shame, so they too may be glorified in my presence, for love has saved them. Therefore let it be written and understood, for it shall surely come to pass. Nothing, nothing in all creation can absorb the will of the Most High God, nor shall any run out ahead of me. My will shall be done, for it is purposed and cannot be moved, having already been written in everlasting stone before the foundation of the world. Therefore, little children, I ask you, what is my name? What is my son's name? Listen to him, for it is he who speaks to you, having received of mine and spoken it to those I send, who have received of his and in turn spoken it to you. The Father and the Son are one, and these I send shall also be one in us, even as all those who embrace my salvation shall also be one. For the day is coming and is already here, when all those of his body shall be one, and judgment shall sit. The mercy seat established, with all the sons and daughters of God gathered together placed at his right hand. And as it is written, so shall it be, I shall be their God, and they shall be my people forever. One flock with one shepherd, one father, life without end. Amen and Amen.